Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Good Tonight. And if my camera can go more than 10 minutes without a catastrophic failure, I'll get this review done today. So, <laughs> uh, this, is the latest. this video was supposed to come out a couple of weeks ago, but caught the Wuhan Weezer and was unfortunately unavailable due to recovery. So, you can finally talk about this in English. I did the Japanese video. It was a lot of fun. This, this uh, battle jacket is not as well known in Japan as it is stateside. So, that said, P-83 Battle Jacket, South Africa Defense Force, designed in 1983 as the pattern 83, and this particular vest I'm wearing today, date of manufacture, 1984. That's all I got, just a year, no month or anything, so interesting, interesting vest. These were all made to uh, go vanish the dirty, dirty communism from the world, and alas, if it succeeded, we'd be in a utopia today, allegedly. So, that said... What do we got going on? Why is this vest so popular outside of Mad Max and a few other movies? Well, it had a lot of forward thinking put into it that is still relevant to this day. I mean, we got a camel back in here. That's not what it was designed for, but it's something you too can do. So what do we got going on? Um, 1000 Condora, which was a far better choice than nylon, like we were uh, using with our old uh, load-bearing vest, enhanced load-bearing vest, whatever you want to call them, made of nylon and whatnot, so yeah. However, it doesn't do any belt stuff. You can't have like a belt or anything going on with this battle, battle, battle jacket, to my knowledge. So everything is loaded up on here, and that's it. That's all you got. No body armor. We die like men. <laughs> so that was a Condora, cool little mesh sort of padded system. Distributes weight really, really well. Technically designed to hold eight foul magazines, but it fits five, five, six, just fine. Using Velcro, I do like my Velcro a lot. I especially love her clips or those little buttons and stuff. Straight up Velcro. Easy, simple, works fantastic. Isn't a black and brown setup? The black's probably going to stand out a bit more than the brown. The brown's going to get stained with dirt and debris and whatnot. Although this one's in really, really good condition. The only uh, thing I've really seen was there was a broken buckle and there's like a S on one of these grenades. There's a little S on that grenade pouch. So, what you got going on? Well, it's designed to be a three piece sort of setup. So you got your right and left flank sides. And then on the back, you got your cool little uh, back pouches and everything going on. Oh, that's open. Hey, cool. Yeah, we're going to be talking about those here in a minute. So, what's going on? Well, you got the two clips up on the front. There's no, like, higher top clip, so everything up here is both wobble. It's a bit of an awkward place. There's a reason we don't uh, generally keep magazine pouches up this high anymore. And that is because with magazine pouches are up here, it kind of interferes with your shoulder pocket. Now you're either up against the mag, you're off on the side, and you're really like fighting against it to be able to get that pristine good shot, or you're just entirely just forcing that thing out of the way so you can get some sort of a shoulder thing going on. But for the most part, it's gonna be hitting really, really low. And yeah, that kind of sucks. So that aside, these magazine pouches, some of the forward thinking I was referring to, that's how these little uh, pen freaking flare sort of setups they got on the inside. So you pop this open, you pull out one of these mags. There is actually divi fabric dividers in there to keep the magazine separate and from clacking around and doing all that other crazy stuff. Just a shame that it's in the way. So I'd probably leave this right, right one empty or with minimal interference. They're grenade pouches. I just have a, a boba balls in there. They don't do anything too crazy. But as you can see, these are effectively a little bit free floating, bit of movement, but you can get your arms over them, under them to the side. Just, uh, yeah, they're not too crazy in the way or anything, so. With all that going on, that's our magazine pouches. Down immediately below those, we've got a general purpose pouch. So here you're going to keep all your um, multi, any sort of uh, medical, binoculars, stuff of that nature all fits nicely in here. And on the right side, we have two smoke grenade pouches. They're divided down the center instead of a, a little divider for magazines, and that's because, well, they're designed to hold smoke grenades. So that said, there's a bit of a little click clack going on in there, and that's because without the dividers, fitting two magazines each for an extra four, gives us 12 mags pretty much out of the way. So where are those other four mags? Off here on the sides. So canteen pouches here. Canteen slash radio pouch. There's a little flap up here, so if you want to use it as a dump pouch, or I guess you could just leave it empty and stuff it all inside for a dump pouch setup. But if you got your canteens in there, you got these straps that hold everything. I got them down over here. Straps hold everything in place, and you got your little Velcro axis there. On the front of those is where you have your extra magazines. So you take your canteens out, these magazines are going to flop around like crazy. And even with stuff in there, these magazines are going to flop around like crazy. 
but it is right where you would have a fast mag anyway, so if you need to reload, shabam, your stuff's right there. A uh, single Velcro flap away. They're pretty clever. I like the new ones. Oh, these ones are divided too. Yeah, check that out. That's cool. So you got some division going on there. To keep those separate. Yeah, a bit wobbly. That's one of the things. They did work all this stuff out in the future. They do make replicas. And people have taken key designer notes from this. And yeah, made their own stuff. Additionally, we've got our map pouch right in here. Actually, I didn't put my thing in there. What do we want? We want this one. Yeah, so let me set that up. You got a map pouch down here. And that basically goes around the back of these pouches. A little empty flap. It gets a bit of a curb some curvature along with the body. But when you need your map or anything, you just reach in there and shabam. You got whatever you need. And with your pens already up here, that's all taken care of. There's, um, you see this flap right here for the padding. So the padding's covered in this little mesh. I don't know what the padding's exactly made out of. Um, it's squishy though. That's where a lot of the comfort is. That's part of the reason why this is a beloved jacket is because it stays pretty comfortable, even under a load. That comes down from the top there. All these uh, straps, for the most part, they're all just little, um, you know, little feed straps or whatever, and you use the tension to hold everything together. Pretty clever workaround, so you're not using a bunch of crazy electrical tape. The reason there's electrical tape here is because these were supposed to have Velcro, but the Velcro was all peeled off from earlier, so I just taped them down so they'll hold uh, just really the camelback part. So back end, you got a two-part sort of setup. You got the big top pad. There's a bunch of padding under there, so that's fine. But that big top part, you can hold a... Radio is designed for radios, but you can also fit spare machine gun barrels and stuff in there. And uh, yeah, there's a lower pouch, and that's generally where you're going to want to keep any of your food and stuff. And you could access it yourself, which is a really, really neat feature. And this pouch, in particular, is very dirty. <laughs> oh yeah, there's, there was something in there. Anyway, so with all that covered, we covered the uh, basics and stuff, as you can see that just goes on in there. So let's leave that It's hot today. Oh my god, it is hot. Oh yeah, I didn't even cover the most important part. One of the cool things you can do, this is something I did earlier before my camera freaked out, and I don't want it to be lost footage, is if you need to get access to your canteen, everything's a pain, you go, ah, it's so much, so much trouble, because it's a vest, sleeveless jacket sort of setup. You can just grab on over here, get a little, ugh, yeah. And you got access. Of course, the canteen is kept with these straps. These straps go through these feeders, that holds everything shut, and uh, then you got the Velcro here to access stuff through. If you're using it as a dump pouch, you can just tuck all that in, leave these straps hanging free. And if you don't want to carry all that extra water, maybe it's more beneficial to carry some extra love for the LMG. You can fit about 100 7.62 rounds in there, these of course being dummies. But yeah, carry more ammo for the machine gun, so a bad idea. And of course, that gives us our mags for a lot of freedom. These hang really, really low, by the way. Just really hanging off there. So, covered a bit of stuff. Um, what else do we want to do? Man, it is way too hot. So, if we pop this free here and we take a look, you can see here we've got the information Specifico IPTY Limited, a little serial number, vest ammunition pattern A3. Your date of manufacture, 1984. Oh, there's a five in there, so I guess it's May. Then room for a name. And of course, you got that cool padding going on all over. You got the cool padding coming in onto the arms, as you can see. Over here, the you can actually see through the magazine into the magazine pouch and everything because it's just that net there. So this gives you all your padding for all that stuff. Padding down here on the uh, side flanks and everything. Again, pretty simple. Starts behind the. Uh, Smoke grenade pouches actually and covers over the canteens and whatnot. It just kind of like flops over here. You can see those three attachment points where everything's kind of like rolled into get place and whatnot. Um, back pouches. I didn't cover too much about these. So this one for the radio and whatnot, we basically turned it into a spare three liter Camelback pouch. Slide it up and there's our Camelback. And this does divide here at the middle, so you can keep all your wind stuff down here. And these got extra straps. This is all apparently for like sleeping systems. These extra bits up here are frustrating. These were, one of these was actually busted, and this one up here, and it was actually digging into my uh, my back the whole time. So I actually replaced that one, and it needs some work. Not perfect yet. And uh, yeah, these are also for attaching extra stuff there. Oh, phew. But you're not wearing it. It's actually a lot heavier because you're putting all in the arms. So yeah, nothing uh, too crazy going on there. 
a few extra straps down here for adding additional things. And yeah, pretty simple, basic system that's pretty well thought out, pretty well designed, especially for the uh, time in which it was being used, 1983 and whatnot. And it did eventually go out of production. They don't really make them anymore. So yeah, I gotta get replicas and stuff. These uh, shoulder straps do come together pretty tightly at the back, so you gotta have some room so you can get around your neck and whatnot. Whew, I'm sweating. You can see I'm still recovering from uh, some of the lingering effects of the, uh, the virus, so I think my lung capacity has been shot. It was not this bad. But yeah, cool system. Uh, we could take the camel back out if we really wanted to. And yeah, that, so that pops open, Velcro. Camelback just chills on that. This is the big old empty pocket. They did use YKK zippers. These are like the only two zippers on the whole system. Is uh, this one back here and then there's one down here. I don't know why they didn't use clips on the uh, canteen pouches. It seems like access to water is probably going to be pretty important, but say lovey. So, Whew, that's pretty much the majority of it. There's not uh, too many crazy things to talk about. <laughs> it is comfortable. It, you can wear it on one, one uh, whew, there's your uh, post-training day, throw it on the one sleep, the one arm and be like, okay, yeah, I'm done. It's quitting time. And so one of the key things I would note, I, know, uh, I can't talk anymore. One of the key things I would uh, specify is that because of the way you got that backpack sort of set up there, that many assault panels set up, you're going to be limited in carrying backpacks and whatnot, but you could always leave those two pouches empty and throw a backpack over that, should be relatively comfortable with all the extra padding. My lung capacity is gone, guys. <laughs> let's, um, let's all hope that's not permanent. And, uh, yeah, so, that's more or less the entirety of the review. Really cool, interesting setup. I've seen pretty, uh, decent setups and, uh, reviews online, so that's pretty much the best I can give you guys. It is incredibly comfortable, as you can see, I'm not too crazy sweat through, despite it being very, very hot. And this attaches here, and you can see there's a little strap there. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, there's a little strap right on here, and that uh, goes over this little piece from the back end, and that holds that together. And then these sort of like strap together here. This is strap on the outside though, it does go pretty far out and over the padding, so something to be aware of. But yeah, you can turn into a very effective battle jacket, even in the modern age. And if for whatever reason you want to wear it backwards, it's going to be pinch and run to your jugular, that's not comfortable. It does give you access to the most important part, which is where you keep your food, so... Yay! Whew. Too hot. Way too hot. Ooh, boy. Yeah, so, if you guys have any questions, or you want to know anything, like, particular about this, or try to, like, fit something crazy, I know they hold the 556 mags just fine. You could probably get AK mags in there, with, you know, they'll be probably hurting for Velcro space. But yeah, that's uh, the majority of the review. That's what I got for you guys today, so. Yeah, I, I do really love the aesthetic of this whole little back sort of setup going on. It is just really, really beautiful. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be here, most likely, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. So, that's it. That's all I got. Way too hot, I'm gonna go. Drink some ice-cold LaCroix coconut flavor. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.